It is no surprise that Governor Ramalan Yero made security concerns top on the agenda of his administration. Kaduna State has had the misfortune of going through a vicious cycle of violence with its attendant disastrous consequences. Peace is expensive, but it is also cheap. It is there whenever there is breakdown of law and order, but cheap when we strive to sustain it. The approach of the Ramalan administration in tackling the problem is both short and long term. In order to secure the state against sporadic cases of conflict, the state government reinvigorated, equipped and expanded its joint security outfit known as Operation Yaki with 40 new vehicles. These vehicles are well equipped with modern communication gadgets in order to enhance the services of its personnel, particularly in areas that are most prone to violent conflict. It is our responsibility to also contribute this equipment toward the actualization of having a secure environment for all the people. In furtherance of this drive to beef up security, the 23 local government areas of the state complemented the efforts of the state government with each council providing its police division with a new Hilux patrol vehicle. God be the glory. The increase in the visibility of security personnel has no doubt helped to maintain peace in the state, but unfortunately not totally removing the threat of conflict, thereby prompting the state government to focus on the long-term solution through the promotion of interfaith dialogue. The Ramalan Yero administration is also giving expression to the quest for peace through constructive engagement by reaching out to stakeholders. These include traditional rulers, religious leaders and civil society organizations. The essence is to bring their influence to bear on the peace building process. The effort in this direction has been quite rewarding. I am particularly pleased with the prevailing peace and security in the state now. For the time past, Cardinal State has witnessed too many communal clashes leading to deaths of innocent people. Such communal clashes are not actually religious, they are ethnic and economic. But religion comes in so that they get support from outside of their community. I believe uh, Governor Yero uh, is trying very hard to listen to uh, re the religious leaders from both the Muslim and the Christian uh, communities. The success story is such that Kaduna State was given the chance to host the fourth international conference of the Forum for Cities in Transition. The conference, which took place in Kaduna in 2013, had participants drawn from 21 cities around the world. It's time that we take the talking from these conferences out of such buildings and have them in the communities where the conflict is. I normally and always said the best way to solve a problem of this nature is by individually, collectively agreeing to live in peace. Governor Mukhtar Ramalan Yeru is many things to different people. The consensus, however, is that within a relatively short period of time, he has significantly touched the lives of the people of Kaduna State in so many different ways.